Hey YouTube bro, what's going on? Back at it again with another video, y'all. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the words right, but as y'all can see, I'm very very distracted right now with these two beasts. But as y'all seen the video, as y'all seen the title up there, uh, come on, y'all y'all really throwing me off. As y'all can tell on the title, this dog this video is gonna be dog related. Um. One of my subscribers DM me and they okay, all right, okay, okay. Hey, hey, you see me recording? All right, let me stand up. All right. So one of my subscribers hit me up and they're like, "Hey, um, how are you able to walk these 85 pound dogs?" By the way, uh, I'd prefer if y'all drop a comment in the comment section. You know, I barely check my DMs and stuff on Instagram and whatnot, but this video is basically gonna be how to. Train your dogs to walk under control so that they were that way they're not tugging you, they're not pulling you and yanking your arm off. Mm -hmm. I know, I know it's hard having dogs that's over 100 pounds and they're yanking your arm off. These dogs have a lot of power. As y'all can see, hold on a second. As y'all can see in their back muscles and everything, you can see how strong and how ripped these dogs are. These are American bully dogs. So I understand that y'all definitely want to get them under control. Y'all want to be able to walk your dogs without an issue. So, this is what you do, y'all. Before we go any further, I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I did a dog video. My number one video so far on YouTube with 50K views so far, like 300 likes, is how I raw feed this animal right here. Say what up, Zoe. Hey. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this video on the way, y'all. This is how to walk your dog on a leash, how to get control over your dog. So it's gonna be, it's not gonna be a one day process, but this will definitely help you guys out. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, so first things first, the first problem with walking these dogs is they probably have too much energy. They probably have too much energy and they're real excited to go outside and bark at somebody or whatever it is that they're gonna do when they go outside. So first things first, let me show you how you know if your dog has too much energy. Yeah, you got too much energy, beloved. All right, so this is the first way you can tell if your dog has too much energy, y'all. If you go to grab the leash and the collars, and they do this stuff right here. If your dogs are doing this stuff right here, that means that they have a lot of energy and they can't wait to go on this walk. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. That's just a quick demonstration to let you know that your dog has too much energy. See how I wonder like, man, what do you mean too much energy is like, is that, isn't that the way dogs are supposed to be? I mean, yeah, but when you wanna get control of your dog, walking your dog, you might wanna do a few steps before you take them outside. The first thing that I'm personally gonna do, I'm gonna work them out. So check this out. All right guys, so first things first, they're really, really excited right now. So right now they're, they're extremely excited. They've seen the leash. They know what time it is. They know it's time to go for it. Calm down. However, like I said, we cannot walk these dogs just yet. Good? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring them out here. You know, you could play fetch. You could, whatever kind of dog game you got that helps your dog release all this energy. This is my first time letting them out for well, actually not the first time, the second time. Well, I haven't I haven't played with them all day yet. So they're super energetic right now. Oh, look at that pasta. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> so they're super energetic right now. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show y'all a couple of things, small things that y'all can buy online so that y'all can really maximize and get all this energy, all this unwanted energy out of your door before you take them for a walk and they start yanking your arm out. As y'all can see, yeah, we're gonna get the situated. So first things first, y'all. I got this flirt pole. I think it's like $15 on Amazon for a flirt pole. So this is the first thing I usually do. I usually get them with the flirt pole. Get them real worked up. And uh, yeah, that's how you use it, y'all. The end right here, you gotta keep it out of your grasp, y'all. And don't jump my yard, y'all. I'm definitely. It's definitely gonna get fixed soon, y'all. Yeah. She is 
more energetic. And once again, I doubt this. You see her back muscles? So she's the main problem, y'all. So once I get her worked up, it's gonna be literally enough to get her done. Get her exhausted, so. There you go. What you want? This is what you want to do, y'all. Come on, come on. Come on. There you go. Let go. Now, this is how you should get the let go, y'all. I usually grab by the neck. Good. toy that I usually go to. So this is my next toy, y'all. Uh. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. Like my toys. Hey, anyway, this is the next toy. This is a, uh, it's pretty much a, oh my God. It's pretty much a rope, and uh, this rope weighs about 15 pounds or so. And pretty much all you're really gonna do is just play tug of war with your dog. <laughs> I don't know what she's trying to do, but she is not gonna. I feel like she's gonna lose a tooth, yeah. Mm. What you think? No, she grown. I'm getting tired, huh? As y'all can see, I'm getting more and more tired. Oh, shit. When you got 200 pound dogs on the other end of this goddamn rope, this is what usually happens. Oh, yeah. So yeah, once again, this is all, I know y'all probably might be thinking, oh my God, this dog's aggressive. Just a little friendly game of tug of war, nothing, nothing crazy. Not aggressive at all. Once again, these are a blue line. American Bully, straight from Cali, y'all. These are two females. This is uh, Zoe's mother. Diamond right here. Daughter, obviously. And, uh, yeah. God. I am exhausted, y'all. Oh, shit. All right? And occasionally, I let them win. Go ahead, y'all got it. Y'all won. Whew. And I can let them go at it themselves. That way I catch a breather. So now when I'm ready to go back on there, uh, they worked each other out. All right, so now I probably usually let them go at this for like 10, 15 minutes. Then I go get the collars. If they're still energetic, you know, if they're not gasping for air, they're not exhausted, I don't go walking yet. So there you have it. I'm gonna show you another toy I can get, by the way. This one was like, I think the flirt pole is about $15. This is a 15, 20 pound rope. I've had this rope for a while. Now with these dogs, you see as she's doing, they like to try to chew it and break it apart. So you wanna make sure you're monitoring when you're playing with these dogs. As y'all can see, y'all hear that? Yeah. Y'all, you guys can hear that, right? Yeah. But we're still not ready for the walk just yet. So I'm gonna go put this away, show you guys another toy y'all can play with. I usually have two separate balls. I can't find the other one. There's a red one and a green one. So this is what happens when you leave a 100-pound monster, 200-pound monsters, y'all, mixed with, I don't know, <laughs> mixed with bull, cow, horse, everything but dog, y'all. 
<laughs> this is what happens to it. So it takes a while for you to find a good toy. First of all, there is no good toy they can play with. So when they have these toys, don't let them chew on them. Don't do anything with them, yeah. We're gonna play a game of fetch. The reason why I got the glove on is because they slobber non-stop. It's, it's nasty. So this right here is the final thing I usually do. Get them really, really worn out. Less stress on me as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go for that walk, so. You know, fake them out a couple of times. There you go. You get that cardio in, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Actually, notice how she got more energy than this one, though. There you go. Oof. I think we need a bigger yard. <laughs> She's going to go Drop far. It. Drop it. Let go. Notice, y'all. I know a lot of y'all scared of these doors. Notice my hand is all over this bowl. Notice they're, they're not, they're gonna try to do everything they can to push my hand out the way, y'all. So I know those of y'all that are scared to play with these dogs. Don't, don't, don't be alarmed, y'all. Don't be alarmed. My hand is all in their mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it again. Get them moving. Once again, she's the most energetic. So as long as she gets a good workout, this other one will follow suit. Come on, come on. Come here. Come here. Now watch me retrieve it, y'all. I'm just gonna simply take it out of my mouth. Come on, drop it. Drop it, let go. Nice and easy, y'all. This is what y'all need to do to work out y'all buddies, man. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and probably play with them for like another five or ten more minutes. Once they get really, really exhausted, then I'm gonna show y'all how to walk them. Now as you guys can see. Their tongue's sticking out. See her stomach. See all the slobber just dripping. Now these dogs are good to go for a walk, y'all. Now is the time, y'all. This is when you guys go ahead, grab your leashes, and they should be exhausted. So you wanna go ahead? Let's go for this walk. I thought you said them for a walk already. I couldn't. I came back. So. Why? I thought they was tired guys, but they wasn't tired enough, so I started all over again. I got the uh I got the flirt pole, I'm out here, I'm working them. This one right here, when you, when your dog is over 100 pounds, you know, they <laughs> I don't know how much more work I gotta do, but my arm, they was pulling. So I'm gonna work them out some more. So constant regular routine. They, they, they almost done though. So yeah, damn, why you okay. Hmm. But yeah, and I'm working out for a little bit more, probably like another five minutes or so. And then <laughs> what? Why you calling me out like that on the stage, bro? <laughs> hey, come here. Zoe, here. Let go. Let go. Let go. All right, y'all, just bear with me for a second, y'all. Big mouth, Zoe. Yes. Hey, your mouth. Oh, look at what she had that little thing. You see it? Yeah, that white spot? No, in her throat, remember? Oh, yeah, that what? The yeah, what did it say? No, you can see it. You can see what they... Oh, okay, got you. What, what is this? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. tired? That's it? All right, y'all, so I think now, I think now we're ready to go. I, oh. Nope. <laughs> not, not, so long. You're still busy, y'all. Come on. Ready for what now? Think so. I mean, look at them, y'all. All right, let's do it. Hey, so as y'all can see, some somebody got her attention. As y'all can see, I got both doors outside right now, and notice there's no tugging going on. Come on. Especially from her, she, she's bigger than this one. She's about one, one hundred and one hundred pounds actually. And notice how they're calmly just walking, guys. Notice, calm, calmly just walking. I don't even gotta do nothing now. 
but if they ever do get ahead of themselves now and they decide they want to tug, I, I'll just stop walking and I'll wait for them to calm down. But as you can see, she's calm, she's relaxed. I'm, I'm chilling right now. This is how you walk your dogs, yeah. Just gotta get her from away from here. She's in the bathroom. Yeah, this is it. This is basically a yeah, this is a hidden gem, and I think you know about this. A lot of people get you know frustrated, but this this is it. I'm basically walking the dog. Come on. Yeah, once they start to tug a little bit, they start pulling, you just simply just stop walking, stop moving. And then they'll calm down, or maybe they just gotta use the bathroom. Come here. Hey, uh, hey, what's going on, man? This don't count, y'all. The mailman always gets bad love. It's... <laughs> but, um, once again, as y'all can see, my arm isn't being jerked. The mailman has her attention, but come on, we gonna go this way. Starting to pull a little bit, so I'm gonna just stop. Sit, sit. There you go. You gotta calm down and continue walking. Hey, this video, this idea was given to me by Rory. See you, baby, Maximilian. Go follow me on Maximilian underscore kennels on Instagram. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap this video up. As y'all can see, it worked. They don't have the energy to go ahead and yank my arm. Hey, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We'll go ahead, go for a little run, get them worked up even more. And uh, yeah, comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all want to see, y'all. Let's go.